Oh, why am I reading a bit? Sister's mother. Oh, okay. Are you in touch with your sister? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. good. Oh, You're... Oh. We're on now? Hi, I'm Joyce and the Highland Park Senior Producers, and today our guest is Donna. Uh, let's see, the name is hard to pronounce. Urbicus. Urbicus. Yeah. Okay. And uh, she's an author, and um, she's going to tell you about her book. It's called My, Sis My Sister's, Sister's Mother. Mother. Okay. Donna Seleka Urbicus grew up in the Midwest during the golden years of the American century, but her Polish born mother and half-sister endured dehumanizing conditions during World War II as slave laborers in Siberia war. War and exile created a profound bond between mother and older daughter, one that Donna would struggle to find with either of them. After the war, older daughter, mother, and her new husband, a Polish army officer who had helped them escape the Soviet Union are haunted by the past. Baby Boomer Donna, born in post-war England and growing up in 1950s Chicago, yearns for a normal American family. In this unforgettable memoir, Donna recounts her family's history and her own survivor's story, finally understanding the damaged mother who had saved her sister. Very good. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, you very much for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. You're <laughs> welcome. Anyway, and... Uh, First, why don't you tell us about your awards? Well, um, luckily I had um, the Chicago uh, Writers Association. I was a finalist in that. The Midland Society of uh, Authors. Um, and then also the Midwest uh, Book Awards, which uh, has is a sticker on my book, as well as the, and I was a, a bronze winner for the Forward Indies uh, Award. Oh, Plus my good. book is uh, chosen as a um, best book by high school and uh, adult, uh, uh, for, for high school and adult libraries mm -hmm. is the best book, so, oh. so it's, it should be in most libraries. Mm -hmm. And when was it published? Well, it was published by the University of Wisconsin Press in 2016 as a hardcover, which is here, mm -hmm. and then as a soft cover, it just came out um, this last month, um, oh. and so it has, uh, you know, photos in it and, and uh, other, you know, information. Very interesting. I haven't read it, but I have to do so immediately. Well, I hope you yeah. do. <laughs> I will, I will. Okay, and, and why did you have the title, My Sister's Mother? Yeah, everybody trips up over that title like you did because yeah. it's such a different kind of title. Mm -hmm. And the reason is, is that my sister, who is pictured on the book with my mother, oh, yeah. um, was five years old when she and my mother were deported to Siberia from what was then Eastern Poland. Oh. Um, they were slave laborers, and um, I was born after the war in England, mm -hmm. and I, um, you know, grew up with my mother in a very different way than my sister did with her. So we had very different experiences of the same mother. Okay, um, there were just two of you. There were just the two, two father, two different fathers. Two different, yeah, same mother, two different fathers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so I um, was working with a friend of mine who was also a wonderful author, Wesley Adamczyk, and he wrote a similar story about his um, his uh, life story, similar to my sister's. Uh, it's called When God Looked the Other Way, and oh. he and I worked with him, and he said, you know, this is really, um, uh, uh, he came up with the title, so I'm very grateful that he oh. helped me with that. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, but it does have a subtitle, because it is an, a memoir of war, exile, and Stalin, Siberia, mm -hmm. which, you know, is something that 
a lot of people don't know that history very well. Yeah, not at all. People just think of the Holocaust and what yeah. happened to the Jews and not uh, the other people. Right. I mean, when I first started writing my book, which was a long time ago, mm -hmm. like when, when my first son was born, I um, would tell people I'm writing this, and right away they just assumed that it was about Germany attacking Poland and the Holocaust. And yeah, when I would yeah. mention, uh -huh. well, no, it was really also Russia that attacked Poland. Uh -huh. and, you know, this isn't known to so many and, people. And people were, were like very unknown. Even today, people really don't know that. No. Um, and if you ask a lot of Russians, they, they, they didn't learn that during the communist mm -hmm. years. You know, they, mm -hmm. you know, if anything, the, even today, Russia would, Russia would probably say that they quote unquote liberated Poland. Yeah, that's what I hear <laughs> always, yeah. But yeah. actually, you know, my mother and thousands, hundreds of thousands of other people were deported, you know, as slave laborers because they wanted, you know, basically cheap labor. The it, Russians, you the mean? Russian, the Russians, the Soviets. What about the, um, Germans. Well, they weren't, so at that point, you know, if you, you, you have to know a little bit of that history. Um, Germany and Russia entered into a non-aggression pact um, uh, in uh, August of 1939, oh, so a little before, before the war the started. The However, US there was a, a, a protocol to that pact mm -hmm. which was secret, oh. and they were, they agreed to divide up Poland along what they called the Molotov, uh, Ribbentrop-Molotov line. Mm -hmm. And so I'm basically dividing up Poland between the two of them. And so after Germany attacked, uh, two weeks later, Russia attacked. Oh. So, and, that, and that's a, unfortunately a history that a lot of people, no, even to this no. day, don't know mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. But know when that. Germany attacked Russia in 1941, then Russia became an ally of the British and the French and oh. you know so that that relationship changed but during oh. those two years you know but, you know it was you know something that um, you know a lot of people were deported and sent to prisoner of war camps my father was captured and sent to a prisoner of oh, war really? camp yeah in Russia uh -huh. did he live or die or oh yeah he lived um, and that's how my parents met they oh, met in that oh. whole turmoil later oh. And um, and then met again, again in England after the war, mm -hmm. and that's where I was born. Oh, oh yeah. how long were you in England? Oh, I was only two when we left. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Some lady in my building was in a detention camp at the airport or in a hangar for t nine years. That's all she talks about. It was well, in there the was 1920s, so. Oh, in the 1920s. I, I don't. But they stopped. Uh, letting people come to the U.S. at the time, I guess. Well, after World War II, there were resettlement camps in, in England, mm -hmm. uh, and, and mm -hmm. s a lot of people stayed there, uh, and if they could not, you know, get out them themselves, they, oh. they would be in these resettlement camps, oh, yes. Polish resettlement camps. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so uh, how did you happen to get to Chicago? <laughs> <laughs> well, my parents, um, you know, didn't see a whole lot of opportunity in England at the time. Oh. I mean, after World War II, England was devastated, really? and, and, and it was difficult, you know, for food and, you know, jobs. And my father was very well educated, but, you know, he couldn't really get much of a, a job other than a factory. And so um, they originally were going to go to Canada. Oh. Uh, but my mother got sick right before the um, the ship was supposed to leave oh. and um, so we didn't make it on that but then shortly after with that we, we did but the only passage there was was to America and of course Chicago being a, a very uh, large Polish, Polish. population yeah, you yeah. know it, it attracted did a lot of people. Did you know anybody people. here that had oh, a no. vouch for you? No. Well no we did have to have uh, someone sponsor us. Yeah sponsor. Right sponsor. Um, and um, there were Polish relief organizations that were helping people get in the displaced people coming from you know all over really not just mm -hmm. England but mm -hmm. um, uh, they did uh, sponsor us and so that's how we got started oh. here. Mm-hmm. And you stayed. 
<laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she, um, she called me your husband uh, in college at the is university. He Polish too? No, he's Lithuanian. That's where my oh, that's Lithuanian what, name comes from. <laughs> oh, that's what my uh, grandparents were originally from Lithuania, oh, okay. Ashachuk, wherever that was. Yeah, but they came before, way before the war, actually. Yeah. So. Yeah, well, my husband helped, you know, with the book, too. I mean, oh, he was very yeah. patient in reading all my drafts of the different versions that I was writing. But, but you know, actually, it was um, my mother had never stopped talking about what happened to her and my sister during World War II really? when I was growing up. And it was, you know, kind of difficult for me hearing about all that yeah. because... As a child, as a young child, I was actually frightened of her because oh. you know she would talk about these horrible things that happened and really? and um, you know and after a while, um, you know when I got to be like a preteen and a teenager, you know it was getting to the point where I'd hear those stories so often I was like, oh no, and not World again, another <laughs> World War II again. story is going to oh, invade no. our our dinner, oh, you yeah. know, which. In a way, it was interesting. She was a wonderful storyteller, but sure. she, but she, enough's enough. Enough's <laughs> enough. So, so this is why I say that my sister and I have very different experiences. Oh yeah, because she was right there. I mean, my sister went through the whole thing with yeah, her, yeah. and really, it was it's, it's a miracle that she even survived. Because most young children died. Do I mean, they? either from starvation or from diseases that were there oh, yeah. and just the sheer climate. I mean, Siberia, we're talking 40 degrees below zero kind oh of weather. God. In fact, they said that's what killed the Germans when they... That's right, for Barbarossa when they attacked in the 41. That's yeah. exactly right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but my mother had to go out and work in that whole oh thing. Gosh. She was sentenced to 10 years of hard labor and her Awful. job was to chop down trees and the big branches of these trees. This was uh, the Russians idea? Yeah, well oh. the Soviets, yeah. The, the Soviets, yeah. I mean not the Germans. No, 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 no this, I is didn't all, think so. this is all eastern part of Poland and, oh, oh, and, Ru and, and Russia and Siberia. So, so in the meantime my sister was left in the camp alone, oh, you know, no. and she was basically fending for herself. There was very little food, uh -huh. but my mother used to do things like go and pick berries and then try did, to sell them, you know, in the summer. Did she know her father, I mean? Did she, she did, yeah, she uh -huh. did, but he was also, um, you know, taken to a prisoner of war camp. Oh, oh. So they weren't, so my mother was the only one that could um, really, um, you know, provide for, for my sister and herself. Um, so why, why did the Russians want to do that to the uh, Polish? Well, be, well, basically they wanted to annihilate Poland really? along with Germany and oh. they wanted free slave labor because oh, oh. my mother was paid, but it was so little, you know, oh. it was like enough to buy a pound and a half of bread a day. Really? Yeah, so 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 she supplemented some of the food for my for herself and my sister by, like in the springtime, picking berries and going to the neighboring village and oh. selling them. Or she'd go in the fall, she'd go dig potatoes at some farmer's field, and she'd get paid in a, you know, buckets of potatoes, for example. But otherwise, um, what she earned, you know, with this la at this labor camp was very little, and she really didn't have a whole lot to even bring with her when she was, you know, arrested in the middle of the night, February 10th, 1940, um, because she, her farm had been ransacked, you know, oh. already. So she really didn't even have a lot of things to bring with her. Oh. So that whole turmoil was just a miracle that my sister ever made it out of there alive. Uh -huh. um, so anyway, after they, um, so my mother always talked about all this oh. stuff. You know. Oh, over and, and over. It was over and Were over people again. interested to listen? Uh, well, you know, um, actually, yes. yes. And she particularly liked to tell these stories when, when there were non-Polish people coming oh. to visit. Oh. Um, because, you know, Polish people more or less knew the stories and they would all share their stories. Oh, yeah, you know, at yeah. dinner, you know, when, and we would have dinner parties or something. But it was just um, she was she had she really wanted the world to know about how bad communism was. Oh, I see. You know, and so she was very forthcoming in in telling these stories, and um, you know, after um, after Germany attacked Russia, the Polish government by then was in exile in London, and uh -huh. they uh, were able to negotiate an agreement with Stalin to let all these people out of oh. the camps. Um, and my father, in the meantime, had been captured and sent to a prisoner of war camp. 
which was near the famous or infamous Katyn Forest massacres where over 22,000 Polish officers and intellectuals were murdered. And oh. that was another little secret of, and, and another historical fact a lot of people don't know about. No. Um, but anyway, uh, it, that information finally was admitted by the Russians really? with the fall of communism oh, in 1989, oh. 90, oh. 1991. So it took all those years so for them to finally admit that they were the ones who had murdered them. They always blamed the Germans, but, oh, yeah. but it wasn't. It was the oh, Russians. I, I know this woman. She's German. For, uh, yeah, not Jewish. And her parents sent her to Germany. They thought Germany would win the war when she was a <laughs> child. <laughs> anyway, but eventually she was captured by the Pol uh, by the Russians. She said they were so horrible to her, so horrible. And I thought, what are you complaining about? <laughs> you weren't gassed and uh, in a holocaust yeah. and everything. But now I understand why. Well, she said it was horrible. They yeah. were horrible to them. Yeah. Well, Stalin was. Um you know, he killed a lot of people just simply by starvation and the, oh. and the conditions of Siberia. I mean, you mm -hmm. know, people, you know. Did they, it ever warm up there? In the summer for a very short time. <laughs> oh, it <laughs> was too probably much. a lot of I mean, snow, too. It grew too. very quickly. When, was there a lot of snow there? Oh, my God, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Siberia. Yeah. So, so anyway, so, um, you know, my mother just, you know, she was really... Is she living now? No. Not no. your father either, No. Right? Oh. My sister is. She's yeah, still around. Yeah. She's oh. 15 years older than oh, I am. Oh, yeah. that's why I expected you to be a <laughs> Well, I am old, but not that old, I guess. <laughs> okay. But, and um, does she live, uh, like, in Chicago? Yeah, oh. she's in a nursing home. So, oh, oh. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to go visit her after oh, our interview. Oh, okay, good. Uh -huh. Yeah. So anyway, so my mother, I always wanted to be a writer. Mm -hmm. uh, even though I had all these other careers of, you know, high school teacher and environmental engineer and now a realtor of all things. Yeah. But um, I always wanted to write. And I always asked my mother, you know, at different points in time, mm -hmm. could we sit down and write your story? And right. she always said, no, no, I don't want to, you know, write it. I don't want to go talk about it, although she did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, she wanted to be the one. <laughs> <laughs> so when my first son was born, mm -hmm. it was a little over 30 years ago oh. now, um, I asked her again. I said, look, uh, what do you think? And she agreed. And I think it was because she felt that I would understand her journey trying to save my sister oh. by being a mother. You know? oh. So oh. so we did sit down, and I, uh, um, I have her on audio tape, mm -hmm. and my father helped because, you know, she was always, um, you know, the, her stories were kind of disjointed. You oh. know, it was like, you know, it was like, where was it? What time frame? So he helped with all of that. It's and hard to tell when you're, you know, in that place. You don't know. I don't know what day it is when I wake <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, she, so they got it all straightened out, and I did manage to write uh, a good draft of, you know, the the story back then, um, but then I had twins. <laughs> oh, did you? So I got oh, a little don't ask, Don't busy. talk to me about twins. He wouldn't leave his brother, and he never married me, and he ruined my life, a twin. <laughs> oh, geez. And he died now, but the other one goes to cemetery three times a day. Oh, no. Yeah, they can't. Well, anyway, so, they so I got busy. They had experience. They had to stay together, you oh. know. So, uh, and so... Um, I got a little busy. So there were big chunks of time when I wasn't working on the book. Oh, oh. So, so anyway, then, then I went back to work as, as an environmental engineer, and then I... Um, Ken already. Oh. Yeah, okay. So anyway, so I uh, managed to get this book written down, mm -hmm. and um, uh, about 10 years ago, I enrolled at the University of Chicago's writing program, oh. and they convinced me that I needed to make it my story, not just my mother's. Did you go to their downtown campus? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, center. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I um, I did sit down and I turned it more into a memoir of me growing up with oh. my mother. So it's a dual story. It's it's me growing up with that story and and related events in my life oh. um, that um, parallel what she kind of went through mm -hmm. with trying to save my sister, basically. Um, so so yeah, there's a lot of. Oh, so, a, if, so you weren't even born yet when all that happened? No, no, no. no Fifteen they, years difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was born after the war. Oh. So yeah. So yeah. So. Um, Do you think you'll write any other books? 
Well, I'm working on a screenplay right now. Oh, yeah, you mentioned that. Yeah. Uh, we, we'll see where that goes. Okay. But, um, yeah, I do do some writing. I'm, I'm in a writing group, and we do, oh. you know, present each other's work and, and workshop it so we can, you know, get it out there in, in different publications and that sort of thing. Oh, So, yeah, so great. I am doing yeah, some more writing. Yeah, you enjoy writing. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do enjoy uh -huh. it. <laughs> yeah. People tell me I should write. Oh, too time consuming. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to be able to sit by yourself and, uh -huh. you know, put things down. But it's, it's, a, it's a creative process that I enjoy. Well, that's good. Yeah, yeah. And um, so um, that, yeah, that's a great thing as yeah. long as you enjoy doing right. it. Yeah so, yeah, so I'm hoping that people um, will get out of my book, the, first of all, the history, because um, the history is not well known. No. And, um, and, un and an understanding of the plight of those people um, that went through that whole Siberian war experience. Oh, yeah. And then what happened to the families, because my mother and sister ended up eventually in India, how did they get there? Well, um, the, they finally got out of the USSR uh, and ended up in, in Iran, in Tehran. Oh. And there was a, um, a resettlement camp there, and my mother oh. studied to be a Red Cross nurse. And oh. so they were trying to find places for all these refugees to uh -huh. go, and uh -huh. India was one of them. And so oh. she went. There was a children's hospital there, oh. a Polish children's hospital, and she worked there. And Did she know. have to know how to speak? Indian, no, it was English. I mean, oh, she, she oh, was English, learning English yeah. too. Oh, you know, yeah. the, well, the the hospital was, you know, Polish speaking, but oh, but oh. she was also studying English and she learned English fairly well. Mm -hmm. And then after the war um, ended, um, you know, she wasn't going to go back to communist Poland. Oh, unfortunately, for sure. it was communist. And and actually, the borders had changed again, so her farm ended up in what is today Belarus. Oh. And so she ended up going to England, and my father also. Um, having been in the Polish army, he didn't want to go back to communist Poland. Oh no! And so he ended up going to England. Um, there was a, a you know army resettlement camp. That was before there. they were married. Or? Yeah, before. And then uh -huh. they, but then they by chance met there again. Yeah, and they knew each other. And they knew each other from meeting in that whole turmoil of trying to get out of the oh. Soviet Union. So, yeah. so it's kind of a romance as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so yeah, so that's where I was born, and then we came here, and I grew up in the. Polish community here and around North Avenue or well that is yeah used to be uh, used that to be that yeah. Hill area yeah uh, Milwaukee Avenue. yeah so I'm fluent in Polish and, and I've been back Duck to soap. Poland is that blood soup yeah <laughs> <laughs> my mother used to work in a Polish uh, in, in, a retail place, and uh, I remember ordering ducks. And, oh, I don't yeah. like it myself. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, so anyway so um, yeah. So it's been quite an adventure. <laughs> oh yeah, it's but a anyway, very, so, very so, interesting. So the book is book. out in paperback, you know. Yeah, it would make a good movie too. I think. Well, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, you're working on it, right? I am. Yeah, good for you. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, were there any were there any other questions? Well, I just I want to direct you? people to my website that has an interview with my sister that the U.S. Holocaust Museum did. Oh. And then also there's a book trailer on there, um, and uh, you know just some more photographs. Uh -huh. And so it's uh, it's my name. It's uh, Danuta Urbicus dot com. So D A N U T A U R B I K A S dot com. Uh -huh. That's my Polish first name. Uh -huh. Do you have any grandchildren? No, not yet. Oh. <laughs> How many children? Three. Oh, yeah, good. The twins, oh, twins. The twins and the older guy. So uh, I had my two for one deal. <laughs> the twins, are they the same no, sex? No, no, they're boy girl. Oh, so they're not identical? No. No. No, but people used to ask me that, gee, are they identical? I'm <laughs> no, like, boy, they can't. fail by Too much general <laughs> hospital. All the twins go blind and they put memories from one to the other. I always went to general hospital. I oh, yeah. tape it. <laughs> but you didn't have you didn't have any problems. Um, <laughs> are they real close? Uh, Somewhat, yeah. Well, probably the same sex would be closer. Probably, maybe, yeah. I would think. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. And uh, y your other son's the oldest, so. Yeah, the oldest one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's the one that kind of started this whole project of my writing the oh, book. Oh, did he? Well, oh. because you know he was born in my mother 
felt like I would understand her her journey. Oh, having, so being did a new mother. She, yeah, did he hear all her stories? Like well, later on, he actually he he was one of my first readers when he was oh. in eighth grade. He oh. read a, a a draft of my book. Did and he get like, up and recite it to the no. class? <laughs> <laughs> well, but he he was my he was a good champion of the book oh. and uh, oh, and yeah. my daughter my daughter was uh, helpful with editing because she's a journalism major from oh, DePaul. Oh, oh, I went to DePaul. And uh, she um, helped me with some of the the drafts before I submitted it to the university press. Mm -hmm. That's good. So uh, it can be purchased anywhere then. Yeah, I mean, where books are published. Wherever books are published. Or is it in the libraries? It would be, yeah. yeah. It should be in the libraries. Okay. What's the name of it? Oh, it's my called My Sister's Mother. <laughs> it's a, 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 a memoir of war, exile, and Stalin's Siberia Oh, by the University of Wisconsin Press. Yeah, very good. I can't wait to read it. Good, I'm good. Yeah. yeah, and uh, it's not too many pages either. That's good. No, it's only like 312, I believe. Yeah, 400. And there's footnotes, limit. you know, and there's oh, other yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah. Do in they there. count oh, the blank photographs. pages? Oh, and photographs. There's photographs. Do they in count here. the blank pages as pages? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, look. so here's, you know, like for example, here's photos from my 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 family albums. My oh. father took these pictures. And oh, said, now who's who now? That's my mother. When she, oh, and that pretty was 1953. Woman. Oh. So she turned out to be quite a glamorous lady oh, after yeah. all. Oh, yeah. And who's the man next to her? And, that, and that's my father. Oh, yeah. okay. But these are very old photos. Oh, yeah, yeah. but they're... Yeah. And then... Uh, and that's me and my mother. Oh, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> natural blonde. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, she was a natural blonde, but she she uh, dyed her hair for whatever reason. Yeah, my whole family was blonde except me. I don't know. But you're blonde now? <laughs> well, <laughs> anybody could be blonde. Naturalized blonde, right? <laughs> yeah, but I have the light skin, uh, real light yeah. skin to go with it. Uh -huh. so, uh, so did you stay blonde all the time? Yeah. yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, I did. Uh -huh. yeah. Your children, are they blonde too? Yeah, they oh. are. Yeah. Well, somewhat. I know actually my older son's hair has gotten very dark. Oh, my really? husband's hair is very dark. So. Oh, okay. So, that's so um, uh, has this um, paperback, is it out yet? Oh, yeah, it was out last month. Oh, so people. Yeah, this is a copy of it. Yeah. People know about it yeah. already yeah. by now. Yeah, maybe the library has it too, but I'd rather <laughs> buy books. I don't like to people handle this. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. Um, what else would you write about if you'd write? Well, I'm uh, still interested in that whole history, you oh. know, so I might do something like that and interview some other people for their family stories. Oh, yeah. I did a, actually I did a uh, presentation at the University of uh, Gdynia, and, uh, uh, it, it's the University of I'm sorry, at the Museum of Immigration in Gdynia in Poland. Oh. A couple of years ago, they oh. had a conference. They wanted to know about Polish diaspora. You Have know. you been back to Poland? Oh, yeah, yeah oh, a couple of times, there. yeah. Oh, some, uh, the technician at the library, he's from, uh, his grandparents live there. He goes every summer for the mm -hmm. summer. He's a student at Columbia. But he was going to give him his kidney, but I guess they said it wouldn't help. I don't know, <laughs> but he still keeps going back. To yeah, go. yeah. I was just there last year and the year before. Uh, oh, and uh, you know, so when I went to that conference, I actually interviewed people in my uh, age, you know, my my generation that had similar stories, and oh. did a presentation at the oh. uh, Museum of Immigration in Gdynia, which is the one of the cities on the Baltic. Oh. And they have, um, there's more interest in Poland of what's happened to Polish people throughout the world. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they never got enough credit. Yeah, the that's Polish true. Polish people. Oh, now maybe they will, especially when that movie comes out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll let maybe you know if it does. <laughs> if you need, if you need a part, I'm waiting. I, I, yeah, you're gonna, you, you want to audition? I've taken <laughs> acting lessons. Oh, I have. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll audition. I don't know as what, but uh, <laughs> I could pass for Polish. I think. Yeah. Okay, so thank you so much for coming. This was really enlightening and no, thank interesting. You. And uh, um, I would like to see it in a movie too, but the book sounds wonderful. Well, good. So I'm glad you were able to come and tell us everything that happened because people don't know.